Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. And in today's video, I'll show you how to easily create an email subscription form in WordPress and Elementor to capture user emails. And I have a couple of videos about this topic where we design Mailchimp form Flores form using Elementor, but they required third party integration with API keys. If you need a simple solution where you can create a form using free Elementor and then store the email list right in your WordPress dashboard, you can do it easily by watching this video. And let's get started. And the first thing you need is obviously Elementor. So if you don't have Elementor, just follow the first link in the description, which is this one where you can download Elementor. And don't worry, we don't need the Flow version. If you buy Elementor Pro, you will be able to design the form easily. And if you want to use the free Elementor and you want to design the form, then we will need another plugin. And for that, just follow this link in the description, softexpertpk slash midform. It will take you to this page. Again, this is a free plugin, so let's scroll down. And using this plugin, you can create different forms like these, like multi strip forms, quiz forms, calculation forms, and so on. And you can see the demo right here. You can also create payment forms and you can charge with PayPal and Stripe. I have covered this in my previous video as well. Let's scroll down and then click on Start for Free. And this will take you to WordPress repository. From here, you can download this plugin. Just click on Download and you will get a zip file like this. Now we just need to upload this to our WordPress. And now to upload that plugin, we will go to Plugins, Add New Plugin, and Upload. Choose file and I'll select their plugin midform. Then we'll open install now and let's activate it. And once you activate the plugin, you will see this notification. Plain formalinks is not supported with midforms. Okay. And here we just need to change our formalinks to force name. Okay. For that you can just click on it. And this will take you to settings and formalinks. And then choose force name here and then save changes. And you will also see a new tab which is midform. Here you can design form. So let's go to forms. And here we don't have any form and we will need to create a new one. So let's click on add new and then we can give it a name. So I'll call this newsletter and then you can select a template for it. Okay. If you want to start from scratch, you can select blank template and you can also select contact form, contact form three, admission form, booking form and all these. So if you want to use any template, you can go with it. I'll start from scratch because I only need one field. So I'll select it and I'll click edit form. And it will open up Elementor in a pop up where we can design the form. Here you can see all the mid form fields like submit button, text, email, number, telephone, date, and so on. You can use these fields based on your need and you can create a form. Now, if you want to create a single column layout, just click on this plus and then choose this one. This will give you a single column layout where you can add your fields. Okay. If you need a two columns layout, just select this one, three columns, four columns, and so on. This will be dependent on you. As I only need a field and a submit button, so for that I'll choose this layout and let's delete this one. I'll edit this container and I'll change its direction just to move this column to the left side. Okay, now I can add fields here. So let's go to all elements and now I can use all these fields. So I'll use email. Now we can design that as well. Let's give this container some spacing. So I'll go to advanced, give this 50 fading just to give some spacing. Okay. Now again I can edit this and I can edit the label, I can edit the field and so on. You can see show label if you don't want to show this label and just deactivate it. Now we don't have any label. Okay. And this is the name of this field which is fine. And this is the placeholder which is this email. Okay. So I'll change this to your email and you can see the changes here. And if you want to add a helping text, you can just write your text here. Okay. And this will be a helping text that you can design later on. Then go to settings and if you want to make this field required, you can just enable it. And obviously you want this to be required field. And then this is the validation type. So you can validate it by specific character length. Okay. And this is a warning message. So if someone leave this empty, this will show this message. This field is required, which is fine. And for further design, you can switch to style tab. And this is the required indicator, which will be red. This is fine. This is the input field. If you want to make changes to this info field, okay, this is the padding. Let me show you. This is how you can increase and decrease it. Okay. The default spacing is fine. So let's remove it. This is the margin, which is this spacing. Okay. And let me show you. And then this is the input color. If I write something here, you can see the color is black. If you want to change it, you can give it any specific color. Let's say the theme default color or something. You can notice the changes here. This is the background type. This is now white. If you want to make it transparent, just click on it. You can use any of these colors like this or you can make it transparent and just like this. Then scroll down. This is the border type. You can see this border here. Okay. If you choose solid here 
and give it a width of 1 then choose a okay 1 and then choose a color for it which will be this one you can notice the changes here okay scroll down you can change the typography so just click on it you can change the font family here for example roboto you can notice the changes okay and this is the border radius again let's give this some spacing just to show you properly if i increase the border radius now you can see these rounded corners okay and this is how border radius work if you want to give this some shadow just click on it give this some shadow like this and so on these designs are dependent on you you can even change the hover color the focus color and so on for hover i'll choose this color now you can see on mouse hover this will change the color let's scroll down this is the placeholder which is this text okay you can change its typography and so on and this is the error message again you can change its color typography fading and spacing this is for the help text which is this one you can change it to 12 and then you can change its font family like this okay so this is how it work and let me remove the helping text because i don't need this we'll go to style input i don't like the word radius as well and I'll just one and uh, the word width is fine but i'll just change its color and this is how you can design a field if you want to add more fields just click on it then add a text field like this you can call this name placeholder will be name and so on and in the same way you can design this field as i did to this one okay let's delete it and we also need a submit button so i'll add it here which is this one you can see submit button but we can change the text here to something like this or sign up i will align this to left if you want to add an icon you can click on it and then you can use any icon i don't want to use any so let's remove it and then go to style and then you can customize this button okay this is now 15 i'll increase the left side to 30 and now i can change its typography as well like this okay and let's also change the background color to match the theme color like this and on hover i'll give it another color now let's remove the spacing from this column okay and that's it and this is how a form will look i'll design the button later on this is just to show you okay and let's also increase its spacing just to match the button like this and for further settings like to customize the form message the error messages just go to form settings and here you can see the title is newsletter this will be the success message thank you form submitted successfully and if you want to require login for it you can just enable it and you can also check these options this is the entry title limit and so on if you want to redirect a user to a specific page you can just write your redirection link here okay and then if you want to send confirmation to the user just enable it and then write an email subject email form and reply to and so on and you can see this will be for the user okay this is the notification if you want to get notification yourself or to send it to the admin or the website owner you can just enable it you can write the email subject and email and so on and lastly if you want to integrate this with hubspot or mailchimp you can do it here then just save changes and that's it and this is our form and now let's see how we can display this on any page okay so let's update and close now we have this newsletter form and we have this short code i'll just copy it then let's edit any page with elementor i'll go to pages where we have this home page so i'll just edit it and now we can add that form anywhere on this page so to add the form just search for form you will see mid form and just drag it over here no content but we can edit form and now you can select a form or you can design a new one okay so let's select that form which is the newsletter and edit it and just update and close and you can see that form over here and now it's not looking good but we can decrease the spacing so click on it and this is our newsletter form let me quickly fix this so i'll just go to advanced and align this to center and this spacing is coming from the form itself okay that we just added let's update it and now let's preview the page so this is our form if i fill this off 
and click sign up. Thank you, form submitted successfully. Now let me show you how you can get these entries. So for that, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. And in that same tab, mid form, go to entries. And you will see a new entry here, which is no title, newsletter and home. If I view this, you can see my email here. And this is how you can get the entries from this form. So this was how you can design a form using Elementor and you can get the entries in your WordPress dashboard. Again, the plugin link is given in the description and to learn more about WordPress and Elementor, just follow my channel and still if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.